Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome to today's vlog. We're in the basement today. Long time no see. I know it's been a hot minute since we've vlogged the basement or really shared any kind of update. We are so excited to share our progress down here. So last time you guys saw it was probably we were still hanging drywall. I think that's where we left off. Oh, I made a boo-boo. We've since started building the fireplace or Andrew started building it. That was his like little task last week that he took on. And we have all of the recessed lighting installed. It's hanging, but it is installed because we hired somebody to do the mud and tape in the basement. Sometimes you just have to hire people. Anyway, so you can kind of see it's looking good. You can kind of get the vision now. So it's very exciting for us. We're like, it just feels so good to kind of see progress. We never hire people to do work for us. We always do it ourselves, which is how we can afford a lot of what we do because we don't pay people. But sometimes you just have to pay people. Like this project is dragging on. Andrew is not confident in his mudding and taping skills, but I do want to share that person we hired to do the mud and tape, he came over to assess the damage because usually he doesn't like doing work for people if they've hung the drywall themselves. And he commented how well done the drywall install was. So there you have it, folks who were being mean to me online about my drywall hanging capabilities. A professional said I did a great job, so I will take it. It feels great. We're finally seeing some progress and we're gonna take you guys along with us today because we're actually shopping for the basement. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'll show you guys what I've ordered so far. So in the office now, I wanna share with you guys some of the things we've ordered for the basement because things like furniture and flooring and paint like all those kind of things are extra expenses that we have to do so i did an instagram q a earlier this week maybe later in this video we'll do a q a and answer some of your burning questions because a lot of you have them a lot of questions about why we haven't been sharing basement updates and the truth of the matter is it's just summer is not long enough where we live so we have been enjoying the warm weather and outside and working on those kind of projects i Forget sometimes that you guys are real people watching these videos because we don't see your face, obviously. And I just think like, nobody's gonna notice if we don't post an update and then one of you always notices. So if you are somebody who takes an interest in anything that we do, thank you so much for watching. And it should go pretty quickly after this. And now it's all the fun stuff, all the finishes, all the decor, everything that I am looking forward to is coming up. Okay, so first thing I wanna show you is the vanity that we ordered. It's the same company that we ordered our vanity in our ensuite from. I'll put a little photo for you guys to see and also the the extra bathroom upstairs like the guest bathroom the vanities from there too but how gorgeous is this honestly it was a little expensive and with the countertop and everything it, it broke the budget a little bit but I just love it I think it's so beautiful next up is the rug for the basement I'm thinking this one it's by Laloy and we love Laloy rugs we have a lot of them but they're all sort of pattern like if you know Laloy it's like a traditional kind of pattern um, but I thought this one would be better for the basement so that it has more of Andrew's touch. I've already showed you guys that we ordered the shower head and I showed you in our last video the tile we picked up for the bathroom and laundry room. I don't think I'm going to use that tile in the laundry room anymore. I have another place that I want to use it. I just don't think it's going to go in the laundry room, but I don't know. We'll see. I change my mind every day. We got Ruru out here. Any update you want to give them? How do you feel about the basement? How it's I feel looking? Great. I'm not doing the mud and tape because I suck at it. There's some things you just shouldn't do yourself and mud and tape for Andrew is one of them. We've saved so much money on labor on other aspects of the basement. Yeah. That I saved so much money on the electrical framing, hanging the drywall ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I may as well pay somebody professional to do the part you're actually going to see. Also what's being done right now is a survey for our backyard because we're doing a fence next week. So we're starting it on the 22nd. If yeah. you guys saw... We posted a short of the progress of doing the one side. Let me sit down. So we shared a short of starting the journey of fencing our yard. Um, you guys like that video, except for a lot of you said that we screwed up with the chain link fence. I don't know. You can go read the comments if you care to know more, but we are starting the process of fencing our yard. So we have a survey being done right the second and then we're gonna be fencing the side all the way to the top and then along the back eventually as well uh, to keep these dogs contained. It's just hard being dog owners sometimes. They're all over the place. When you have a big backyard, it's hard to keep an eye on them at all times. So for their safety and for our privacy, we are fencing our yard. We've got 20 
bucks to spend. Our budget's 20 bucks? I got a $20 bill. Oh, that's not gonna get us far at all. Okay, we're thrift shopping now. I can't remember if I told you that. What you got? The only thing you've taken interest in this whole shopping trip. Okay, so I found this little hair storage thing. I just thought it was cute, so it's coming home with me for $13. But I wanted to show, so I made a list in my phone of things to thrift because if you're like me, I easily get distracted and overwhelmed by like being in an environment like this. So I had to make a list of all the things that I should thrift. So life hack for you. Oh, it's kind of hard to focus. Artwork, lamps, mirrors, baskets, candle stands, hardcover books, always great for coffee tables and like storing them places, floor lamps, decorative bowls, wooden baskets, you can always get them for a better price here. Look what I just found. I love getting these little bells. I've been collecting them. I've got like three at home ready. Oops. I've got like three at home ready to hang up but I don't have a dog one yet. So I think that's coming home with me. That'll look really cute. We're doing a gate at the front of our driveway. Oh yeah, you hear that. <laughs> We're stopping for lunch and we'll do a little Q&A. The other day on Instagram, I had you guys submit questions. I was doing like a Q&A on my Instagram story because I realized I haven't been using my Instagram very much and not that that's a problem. I just thought maybe I should post occasionally. So I had you guys ask questions. Lots of questions came in. I answered a bunch of them on my Instagram story, but sometimes it's easier to just like speak Wait. instead of trying to type out an answer. And then it's like, I don't know. I feel like there's less pressure if we can answer questions by explaining ourselves. So the first question we got a lot was about the tree house. Is the tree house ever going to be on Airbnb? It's very doubtful. I doubt it too. I'd love to get to the point where we feel comfortable renting it out to people. But basically what happened was the like people who live around us figured out where we live like based on our TikToks. I don't know who started spreading it around, but it became like public knowledge that a lot of people knew where we lived. And then it just felt very strange, the thought of having strangers coming and staying at your house. It just didn't feel good anymore. I'd love to eventually have like friends come and stay and like friends of yeah. friends, like ha um, or even offer it as a photo shoot location. My cousin did her maternity photo shoot in the treehouse. It was so cute. I don't know, maybe message me. If you're at least interested in doing photos in the treehouse, message me on Instagram, because I'm curious about it. How much longer do we plan to live in our house? I don't know. A little while. We've got more work we want to do, so I would expect a few more years. There's just like, it's a lot of reasons, but I think at the end of the day is we just want to be able to experience living somewhere else. Not to say that this house will sell it. We might keep it and use it as an income property or just buy another like buy a cottage and live in a cottage half the year i don't know forever is a long time to live anywhere oh yeah what's your dream brand partnership i know what tools like ford jeep would be fun jeep yeah a vehicle thing or a tool company i guess you could say after having one now is a pool on your must-have list for your future house no mm -mm. i love it but i wouldn't care if i didn't have one what do you guys do for work? What is our main source of income? What is your profession? Yeah, I'm a carpenter. I have a business doing carpentry. Mm -hmm. And we do social media. Yeah, I have a BA in health studies from McMaster University. And then I have a diploma in recreation therapy. That's what we both did for a living. Andrew did carpentry full time and then I ran recreation programming at a local retirement home. And it was the best job in the world. I loved it, but unfortunately, recreation is very, very undervalued and underpaid. So we were posting on TikTok at the time. We were able to start making some money from doing brand partnerships. And then we expanded to doing Instagram and YouTube and things like that as well. Um, and then eventually we were just 
making enough that I was fortunate enough to quit my job and then Andrew quit like six months later. The main source of our income I'd say is from brand partnerships and then YouTube because we don't make money from TikTok views. Have your neighbors been inspired to make their property as beautiful as yours? Well, thanks for saying that. Generally around us, people aren't like doing what what we're doing to our backyards. I mean, a lot of people work nine to fives and then they don't, they come home and they're not wanting to, you know, dig in a garden or plant vegetables or whatever it may be. A lot of people just don't have the time for that. So I would say that like most people aren't, you know, going as intense as we are. I think I want this for the basement. It's in like good condition and it has the key. I think I want to refinish it though. Well, I didn't give you guys any context. We just went to Habitat for Humanity. Obviously we got a cedar chest because um, in the basement where we have the fireplace, I wanted to do a chest, like some sort of like dresser, chest sort of thing on the one side. I was picturing something black, but maybe we could just, I don't want to paint that. It looks too beautiful. Wow. We just got home, the drywaller just left and there is another coat of mud everywhere. It's so cool to see it finally coming together, the bathroom. Looking good. Very exciting. Good morning. Today is Saturday. You guys are seeing this video tomorrow. Um, continuing our little shopping spree for the basement, getting everything that we need, all the decor and stuff like that. Um, we're going garage sailing today, so we will be taking you guys with me. And before we go, I want to show you something. In the one section of the basement where it's like not the main area, the like second area where we were going to do like a TV, like a mini fridge and stuff like that. I had bought off Facebook Marketplace movie posters because I want to do movie posters and like change them out for the seasons and I think it'll be fun. Elvis, I'm a huge Austin Butler fan and I'm still obsessed with Elvis so I got the Elvis poster, I got the Cats poster. I never saw the movie because I heard it was really bad but I love Taylor Swift and so I got it as a nod to Taylor Swift. Greatest Showman, again I love musicals, this is one of my favorite movies ever. As new movies come out or as I get movie posters will kind of just change them out so I have to get frames for them today and then I'm also so excited to say that we have ordered a couch but I'm gonna wait to reveal it because it's very cool Andrew drew out a whole calendar so if you are following this project along right now it looks like we'll be done it by September the 4th so after the drywall is done it won't be done until Wednesday so you guys are seeing this Sunday on Wednesday, we will be done drywall, and then we're good to start priming and painting. Andrew's gonna start laying the flooring, doing all the tiling, and according to his little uh, calendar, we should be done the basement by September the 4th. It's kind of a flop. It's not great. Okay, go ahead, tell them. Tell them what? Tell them the I story. Need to what tell story? Them, tell them. I'll get the lip readers to figure out what you just said. All right. I was editing this video and I was watching back the Q and A portion of this video, and like, you you just get so quiet. But he explained afterwards that it was because he was hungry. We've been seeing some comments lately about why does Andrew always look pissed off in the videos? Yeah, but people who know me know that I'm not. Like that's just my face. Yeah, he just has. Everyone's resting bitch always. Face. Everyone's always said that, but it's like anyone who knows me knows. That's no, not true. Yeah. I am sunshine, he is midnight rain. I'm a very outgoing, happy lad. He actually is. If you guys get to know Andrew, you wouldn't normally tell from our vlogs because he's a little bit camera shy. Yes. But he's actually really funny and very outgoing. When we lived at our last house, he was the one that met all of the neighbors and yeah. was talking to everybody. Yeah. He was very outgoing and I was the one that like stayed quiet a lot of the time. You stayed in the house like this. I did, yeah, with my dog. Under a blanket. Yeah. I'm just a shy little guy. Okay, well anyways, garage sailing was not a success. Uh, I guess it's just been a long time since we've been to garage sales, but people just don't take it as seriously as I thought they did. Yeah, some people had like a, just a container and you had to like sort through it. Mm-hmm. We were talking about how if we were to have a garage sale, 
it would be intense. We would have, we would sell hot dogs. We'd be barbecuing for sure. It'd be like the most extra garage, garage sale you've ever been to. But um, anyways, garage selling wasn't a success. I know this whole video, there's not actually much basement content, but we can't really do much until the drywall is finished, which is out of our hands, unfortunately. The drywall will be, will be done Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to have everything primed, painted, and a good portion of the bathroom done mm -hmm. by next weekend. All right, we're back home. We were at the store. We had to go to Walmart. Do you, want, do you want to be in the video? Okay, you can sit right there, okay? So we just came from Walmart. I picked up frames because I need to put our artwork or the posters in the frames. I had two extra frames already that I'm gonna use, but these ones are actually from when we got married. I made artwork to go above our bed. I've never shown these before. So one of them was from my vow and one of them was from Andrew's vow. I think this one was mine. I want to go everywhere with you and do everything with you. And his was, I will laugh with you, grow with you, and love you unconditionally from this day on. So anyways, I turned them into like cute little poster wall art for above our bed. It was like inexpensive and it was kind of cute. But anyways, I can reuse the frames now that have been sitting in storage. Oh, shoot. I, these are too big. too. I think this is where I'm gonna leave you guys for today's video. I'm sorry it's not the most exciting basement update but I hope you guys have enjoyed anyway and after this week it should be smooth sailing to get it finished. Again we are gonna work our butts off to get this done by September 4th so thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and we will see you guys in our next video. Say bye!